Hi, Connor. Um, you know, watching every game that you've played so far, you know, it just seems like there have been incremental steps that have been taken with each one. And uh, just, you know, do you think that your confidence level has increased with every game that you've played? Yeah, I think for sure, just confidence and, and comfort level and getting your game back up to speed, I think is has been, been a big step in, in every game. And I think just keep building off each one and, and looking for a better performance every day. And, you know, Connor, at this point, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's not really uh, typical to be calling, you know, a 19 year old player, you know, AHL ready. But would you say that you feel that way about your game right now? Yeah, I think for sure. I think every time you're you're playing, you want to be at the, the highest level possible. So I think every time I step out on the ice, there's something to prove and there's always people watching. So uh, I think for me, I, I feel ready, but um, the, see what the future holds and um, we'll go from there. Thanks, Connor. Head over to Darren. The way things are going, Connor, are they going to have to uh, drag you kicking and screaming to the airport in a week or so? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, um, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this question for, for Glenn. Um, you know, games one to five in your NHL career are in the book. What would be your kind of uh, reflections on, on how that went? Um, I think it just kind of magnifies how big uh, the details are and stuff like that. Um, gaining the coach's trust, uh, being able to be um, looked upon in situations uh, all over the game. And it's kind of like I said, earning that coach's trust to um, I mean, play out there. But um, great experience, uh, super grateful for it and um, looking forward to what the future holds. Is it... Um, it yeah, invigorating or refer like how do you approach you know now that you've had that kind of taste now that you return do you do you have a like does it feel closer than it has before uh yeah i think so obviously uh, i was rewarded with five games and those are obviously my first five games so uh closer than i was uh last year thank you patrick go ahead Yes, uh, Glenn, uh, af after that experience with Calgary, uh, what becomes kind of clear to you that you what you need to do in terms of to get over that kind of final last hurdle to stick there full time? Uh, I think consistency, every shift, um, every little play, like I said, details matter. Every little thing all over the ice that, um, I mean, you can have that trust to, I mean, get put out there. If it's D zone, O zone, winning draws, winning battles, uh, all those little things that aren't always on the score sheet uh, are a big thing in the NHL. And then uh, when, when you come back and you have a little bit of different role, different minutes, uh, how do you make that adjustment back to the American League? Um, it's pretty easy. Obviously, you want to play and then put being down here, you get put into or every situation. Um, so it's nice. I think it's kind of an easy transition. It's a lot more minutes, which uh, you'd like to have. So. Um, I thought it was pretty good tonight. And then just for Connor, uh, what, you know, through this experience ha has it become clear that you really need to work on uh, going in, you know, to, to the future uh, to stick not only at this level, but eventually with the flames. Yeah, I think kind of what, what Glenn said, I think every day you come to the rink, there's, there's details to work on and, and things to get better and, and earn trust. So I, I think what Glenn, what Glenn said would kind of strikes a chord in, in every pro hockey player's mind. I think that's the difference between junior and pro is, is going out there every shift to battle and, and, and play your heart out and make sure the little details are right to, to get more ice time. So I think for me, just make sure I'm getting stronger over the next however long and, and uh, into the summer so uh, I can be ready for next year and, and a full, full year pro. Great, thank you. We'll go back to Darren. Connor, give me your assessment of your time playing with Matthew Phillips, uh, a guy that uh, also from the dub. And um, I mean, I still think he's a he's 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 new guy, but he's he's the old guy compared to you. So, any takeaways, any learnings from being on the same line as Matthew? Yeah, yeah. Philly and Rosie have been great. I think just making me feel comfortable and, and teaching me a few things here and there. Like I said before, the little details, I think anytime they can help me out, they've, they've been there just to show me something, but they've been super supportive and, and made it super easy to kind of 
fit right in and, and, and play my game and, and do what needs to be done. And obviously you saw tonight they're unbelievable players and they created those goals and I just had to put them in the back of the net. Yep. Over to Mike. Um, so Glenn, this is, uh, this is the first game that you have uh, uh, played in the same game with, uh, with, with Connor Zary and, you know, new first round pick for the organization. And, uh, you know, what was, what was your takeaway sharing the ice for the first time with him? Um, I mean, he's a good player. I mean, I think that's a given at this point. He's shown what he can do. Obviously, tonight was a great example of that. And um, I think he's got a bright future ahead of him. Okay. And, uh, you know, just just looking back at your time at the time that you spent with the Flames, uh, just, you know, seeing seeing the different guys who who you, you played on the same team with up there. And, you know, whose game do you think uh, you saw the most of yourself? And or do you think you compared the most favorably to up there? Um, I mean, the guys that I've played with, a lot of them played on the wing. So being down the middle, um, I mean, I, I can't think of one guy ex specifically that I played with, but obviously down the middle, they're, they're very deep. So playing under Monaghan and Backlund and Bennett and, and even Derek Ryan when he was there, I mean, they're all good players, established players that uh, I think I can take a little bit from each of them and implement into my game. Thanks, Glenn. We'll go over to Paige, then to Patrick. Uh, just a question for Glenn. What was the atmosphere of that Flames locker room when they welcomed a new player like you? Um, it was awesome. Everyone was pretty welcoming. Um, as you could see, uh, I lost my helmet before the, the first warm up and just little stuff like that. That uh, I mean, they're, they're teasing you or whatever, but uh, I mean, it's still a cool feeling and it was pretty special. So something I'll, I'll remember forever. And then just to follow up, um, another question for Connor here. Um, with your first two goals in that first period there, you really seem to set the tone for the game here. Um, how is it seeing your team pretty much carry that throughout the rest of the game? Yeah, it was great. I think coming out with lots of energy and I felt good. And uh, to be able to put the puck in the back of the net, it's always a good feeling and always gives you a, a little extra zip in your legs. So I, I think just to, to kind of help and contribute to a win and, and to, to your team is, is always a great feeling. And it was uh, it was great to see that we got a full 60 minutes and, and, and won the game. So it's a good feeling. Thanks, guys. Time for a couple more. We'll go to Patrick, then to Mike. Yeah, this is for Connor. Uh, when you go back to the WHL, how do you bring the program with you and, and really carry those habits that you've learned so far here in, in Stockton? Yeah, I think that's that's the biggest challenge, right, is, is keeping your game at the next level and, and not trying to bring yourself down at all. I think it's um, taking everything you learned here and, and that's how you develop your game and, and working on those little details and practice and during your games and, and making sure you're making yourself a better player every single day. Thank you.